Welcome everyone. Blight Nation Creek Squad, what is good? And we're back again with another black and white reaction for you guys. So we know we're a little late on this one. It's been out for a minute, we know. We know, but it's it's new for us because we haven't listened to it yet. Yes. We still have been waiting for it. We've been waiting for it for the channel. Ooh, we got to it. It took us a little bit. But uh today we got Savannah Dexter. I don't open up. So I can't wait to see what she's got to say on this uh, one. Uh, hey. She now, always comes she, with something good. Don't know if she's rapping or if this is country. Yeah, she's singing. Yeah, I don't know. Can't wait to get into it. But uh, she got beautiful voice. So. Hey, Savannah's doing her thing. Shout out to, uh, shout out to Savannah Dexter. Mm -hmm. and shout out to all her fans because you guys keep been blow, blowing her up so. for real. But uh, gotta love it. Hey, I'm you excited. ready for this scene? I'm excited for this one, Free man. Squad, you ready for this one? Because I know you guys are riding with her. Hey, let's let's get into this one, man. All right, Ian, hit that play button. Let's get this right, going. Ian. Let's get into this. I know I already said hit the play button before we got it, but you know. Hey, it's all good. It's all good. Hit the play button now. Let's get it going. Full screen. Oh. oh my god, do you remember Savannah from high school? Dexter? Yeah. Girl, you're a best friend. Right, best friend. Look at her page. Look at how she went from like 1,200 followers like last month to 78,000. And her music, her rap. Have you heard it? Literally nails on top. Okay, That's like tough. you couldn't pay me to listen to that. I don't know, but you see how she's coming up and she forgot all about us. Like we're nothing, and we wrote for her when she was nothing. I remember that girl. I literally can't even. I see where this is going. Mm-hmm. Damn, they better. She better get jumped, bro. Oh shit, alright. Going Dexter. I okay. Know. I like where this is going. Alright. What happens in the dark? Savannah Dexter. Dexter. Ah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Pass the grab. Uh, yeah. Alright. Good pickup. Uh, good pickup. Duh. <laughs> you guys aren't Dexter fans. Go watch that show. Hell of a show. Ended terribly, but awesome show. In the dark always comes to light True The ones that do you wrong Think they always right mm. Jealousy and envy Brought a lot of spite I guess that's why We always fight <laughs> Jealousy and envy Always bring a lot of spite Ain't that the truth? Mm. Cause when you start getting A little bit of success No matter what you're doing Two things happen People come out and support you mm -hmm. People come out and try to Take you down That's true and you find out two things. You find out who your real friends are, and you find out the people that just want to see you fail. Yup. And the sad part is, a lot of the times that want to see you fail are the ones you thought were closest to you. True. That True. is the saddest part. Most of the time, the ones that want you to succeed are the people that just met you. It's the people closest to you that hurt you. Mm -hmm. It's the people that are closest to you half the time. And not all the time. This, this isn't all the time. Mm -mm. The sad part is that a lot of the times, the people that are closest to you don't want you to succeed because they want to keep you down there with them. Yeah, that's true. Because that's they're true. not going anywhere. Yeah, that happens too. That does. That, and then that's sad. It is. It's really unfortunate. Because it sucks. If you, with your ride or die people, if they start succeeding, you should be happy for your friends when they succeed or when they get mm -hmm. something. If they got themselves out of the gutter. Mm. Just because if you're still there, see what they did to get yourself out. Hmm. And don't try to hitch your ride to somebody. Be an asset, not a liability. Exactly. Now, if you're going to work with them and to help them, that's different. If you're putting some effort in to help them succeed, but you're also working to help them. Yeah. That's one thing. Hitching your ride and expecting to be dragged along. True. Is a completely different thing. Putting your work in and helping somebody is not going for a free ride. No, 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 because no, you're actually working and trying to help them as well. You're helping yourself too, but it's a together. You know, you got me. Yeah, that? I see what you mean. I see what you mean on that. Like Ian and I here, we're working together to build this up. I'm not dragging him along. He's not dragging me. No. We we don't have a third wheel that shows up every now and then. That you guys don't see. That's just you know you know what I mean. Yeah, we, we try to keep, we try to stay as consistent as possible with it. And that's just a small example, but you can look at almost anything that you're doing, whether you're 
going out and building an engine in your backyard or you're building a go-kart. If somebody doesn't want to see you succeed and complete it, you're going to see the person. There's going to be someone saying, oh, that's not going to work. Why would you use that engine? Why would you, why yeah. did you get... There's always going to be... The negative Nancy's <laughs> up, in that, up in there. And that's uh, a problem. It is. You got to know who's your ride or dies. You got to know who's there to actually help you succeed. And you got to know the ones that are going to bring you down. And you got to cut them out of your life. Sometimes you just got to cut people off, man. Because... I it sucks. It, it it hurts to do mm-hmm. it, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Because sometimes you got to cut out people that you've been with since you were small. Yeah. But some. But as soon as the point when you they don't want to see you succeed, or they want to keep you down and don't want to see you get better, you don't want to see people around you that don't want to see you get better. No. Nah. Whether they've been around you your entire life or not, it could be your brother. As sad as it is. Keep, keep people around you that help you evolve. Exactly. To become the, the best person you can possibly be. Keep people be. around you that challenge you to be better, not challenge you to get worse. True. True. Because there are people that challenge you to go bad. And don't get, don't get no yes man around you. No, you don't want people around you that are just, yeah, yeah, that works. Yeah, that's good. No, nah, no. Nah, you want when, someone who challenges your, your idea of mm-hmm. thinking, your thoughts, your processing. Because guess know? what? Every opinion you have isn't a good one. That, that, ain't that the, ain't and that you need the to truth. have someone that huh. you respect to tell you when your opinion is a piece of shit. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, yep. Because guess what? Every now and then you are wrong. A true friend calls you out on your bullshit. Yes, a true friend calls you out on your bullshit. Doesn't just go along to go along yeah. and see what's gonna happen. Facts. A true friend nips it in the butt before it gets out of hand. Facts. So go ahead, Savannah. She about to go in on this one. Yeah. See, that's mm. what I was just talking about. Mm. That's what I was just talking about. She's about to go in and she's going to be talking. I, I, I think she's going to be talking about cutting people out of your life that don't deserve to be in it. Now, if someone deserves hey. a spot in your life, trust me, they'll earn it. And you'll know that they earned it. Don't just be giving out free spots to people to be in your life. Every single person that's Fair. in your life should earn that spot to be in your life. Just like you should earn the spot to be in somebody else's life. You shouldn't just be there. Be consistent with people. Mm-hmm. You, you see what I mean? Yeah. No, yeah. Nothing should be handed to you. You should be earning everything because you'll cherish it more. When something's handed to you, you don't cherish it at all. Because you think it's easy to get. True. I mean, if somebody gives you $100 and you've earned $100, which, which do you care more about? And when you've earned that $100, you, you're hanging on to it. You're, not, you're, you're deciding what you're spending it on. You're checking things twice. When you've been handed $100, you're just going out, hey, I'm going to get this, this, and this. You see the difference? Uh, I see what you mean. Mm-hmm. It's a big difference. And it's the same amount of money. That's a different way of thinking about it. Mm-hmm. Your only attribute is how you hide the truth. Yep. That's true. And the sad part is we all have people like this around us. And they hide right in plain sight. That's a dangerous ass skill. Mm-hmm. That is a dangerous skill. Where your only attribute is how you hide. The only really good are. thing. About, like attributes are supposed to be good things. Yep. And the only thing good, th- good about you is you a snake. Yep. Damn. And the sad part is the hardest thing to identify is the snakes around you. That's why you got to cut the lawn, man. That's why when they show their heads, when someone shows you their true colors, believe them. For real. Damn. Because when someone slips up and shows you who they really are, that's who they are. The mask came back. That's a bar, man. Mm Mm-hmm. 
Damn. All right, Savannah. We we got you, Savannah. She tired of all these all these She's, women, all these men and women talking shit. Uh, she must be tired of all the people because, again, her career is very young, and she's coming up True. the gate storming. But she she must have had so many people around her that she thought were her friends. Yep. She started getting a little bit of fame, and then everybody back home, oh, look at who she thinks she is. You know what I mean? Mm. When you start seeing the people that get annoyed when you get success... True. Or the people that get a little that get angry that you're succeeding, they're not really mad at you. They're mad at the fact that you're getting out and they're stuck where they are. But those that's why you don't need them in your life. Damn. Because if somebody can't be happy when you start to succeed, for you, regardless of what situation they ain't they're a real in, friend. Exactly. They're not worth being in your life. No matter how long they've been in your life. That's hard, bro. And that's sad. It really it is. is. It, it, it really is sad when she could probably open up her Instagram or her Facebook or whatever and see countless messages of new fans that are cheering her on. Keep doing your thing. But then she got the people who know who are just exactly. talking shit. People that she was close to. Mm. People that she knows that she, that she thought she could call at a dime. Mm-hmm. People that she grew up with. Mm-hmm. And they're hating on her. Sad man. They're talking behind her back. They're talking to people that are telling her exactly what you're saying. Because there's still people who are loyal to her that you're talking, and she's hearing everything that you're yeah, saying. For real. And it's not just her. Guess what? And no matter put your own situation, whenever you think you're in a group and someone goes talking behind your back to one of your other friends, guess what? They're telling you exactly what they were saying. The person knows. Your real friends defend you when you're not in the room. Exactly. That's that's what I'm getting. Yeah. At. If all your friends are talking about you behind their back and then you walk in the room and they get quiet, guess who, guess who the person that nobody really likes is? Jeez. They, there is that saying that there's the group of person and every group of friends that nobody really likes. <laughs> that's true. And usually it's that person that's Usually bringing everybody else down and usually yeah. is, like, is always got an attitude with something. Usually the person that everybody hates is not the one that's succeeding and making every and trying to help everybody around them. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's usually not the one that everybody nah. hates. Mm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Usually it's the one that is always finding that negative Nancy moment. Like damn, like it would kill you to have some optimism. It's so <laughs> like, you think back to any of your groups of friends, you could probably always think of a person. Yeah, there was always a person who was you negative. Can, you can yeah. always think of that person. And it's like you're messing up the vibe right mm-hmm. now. Like we're just trying to chill and you over here coming up with this. And we're not talking about trying to talk you out of doing things, just that that's that's not nah. that's not it. No, nah, no, 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 no. <laughs> It's the group it's the, whenever the group like everybody wants to go to Burke and you've decided you're going to Burke and you now I want McDonald's. <laughs> it's that guy. It's that guy. You, you know what I mean? Or you got the undecisive one. It's like, bro, you slowing up the process yep. right now. Can you just pick something? Yep. yep. Or we're all going to the movie. We're all going to go watch the horror. I want to watch a comedy. Thing. That's why I say you always, like, if you in a restaurant, always have a go to meal. If you, yep. like, just always have a go to. <laughs> Guys, man, I like this. I For like this. real. I like this beat. Locked inside this cage again. Loving you's a mistake that I don't want to make. Always oh my the god, Jesus. I hate when people always play the victim card and act like they never do anything wrong. Again, she is just showing the attributes of the oh person that everybody hates. The, that group of that one person and every group uh, of friends that everybody hates. She's just mentioning them. <laughs> I hate when like you got that one person who knows like clearly they did the messed up thing. Yep. But then want to say but then want to turn around and play like they're the victim. It's like yep. but you're the one who did it. You you did it. Like what were you expecting was gonna happen? Oh man. Damn, this is this is this straight fire. Hitting. This is good, this Savannah. One's hitting. This is good.
Her versatility is getting better. It is getting better. But what she just said right there, you made me what I am. When someone hurts you to the core like that. Yeah. It's like it's like it's your fault. When you have hurt somebody and then all of a sudden they turn super cold and hard and then you're wondering why. Yeah. What you just do to them? Yeah, like, look what you did. Why do you think they hate you now? Cuz see people your behaviors affect more than just you. Mm-hmm. So many people think they can do somebody wrong, say yeah. they're sorry, and it's going to go away. <laughs> Honestly. Nah. Sorry can fix some things, but there's a lot of things that it can't fix. Well, there's some things that you need to do a lot more than just say sorry That's, for. Exactly. Sorry is just a start half the time. Mm-hmm. And some people use sorry as manipulation. Yeah. How many times does a guy beat the hell out of his girl, say he's sorry, just to do it again the next night? Apology without change behavior is just manipulation. Yep. Yep. Secrets. Quit looking at me like I am to blame. I am the one you left in the dark. You gave me hell and I stood in the flames. All I got left is a shell of a heart. That's a bar. You gave me hell and I stood in the flames. Oof. Bro. Oof. Keep it going, Savannah. I am the one you left in the dark. You gave me hell and I stood in the flames. All I got left is a shell of a heart. We fell apart. Then I fell my back into hell of a mark. Hell of a scar. Wait, is she going with the body out in the water? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you ever seen, did you ever watch Dexter? No, I've That's never. That's what he did. After uh, he killed the bodies, he'd go out and drop them in the middle of the ocean. I've never watched. People tell me I should oh, yeah. watch. You gotta go watch Dexter, dude. That was an awesome series. Terrible ending. Fucking the worst ending really? of any show in the history of Damn. awesome shows. But awesome series all the way to the final episode. You will love every single episode to the final one. Jeez. The worst part about that is the first season is kind of dry. It's so slow getting So going. it's building up to the rest of the show. It's one of those show. shows where you have to get through the first season. Okay. You're okay. Gonna, you get through the first couple and you're like, ah, come on, just let's, let's go. And then you're like, huh, it gets going. Okay. It's, it's one right. of those. It's a build-up show. Mm-hmm. Okay. Kind of like Savannah Dexter. She, she built up, you know? Damn, man. <laughs> she over here just cutting the girl up, throwing her butt. Jeez. <laughs> I'm liking this though. The whole vibe of this oh, song. Oh, I'm loving this whole this entire song. Oh, yeah. That was fire. That was straight fire. That was I, awesome. Yo, I like that a lot. That's one of her best songs yes, yet so far. Yeah, that might be her best song yet. That might be that was her the, best that song was, yet. That was perfect. Dude, the bars, the flow switches yep. on that, the cadence she brought the with beat, that. The versatility. Dude, the way she rode that beat, the mm-hmm. way she attacked that, mm-hmm. the she, way that she went through, not, not, never mind what she said, it's how she said it, the way that she came across, yeah. the way she layered that song all the way through. Dude. Bro. It made you ride it all the way through. Mm-hmm. That mm-hmm. was awesome. So Savannah, nice job, bro. Hey, man. Keep doing your thing, Savannah. Keep putting gems like these out. Keep For it real. Going. Keep it going, girl. Shoot, I ain't complaining. No, nah, no. Nah. And again, <laughs> that's another That's another song that you could probably put in towards, you can put it towards your own life. Mm-hmm. 100%. Evaluate who is around you. You really, really you need did, to. Yeah. Check that. Keep your circle tight. You don't need a lot of people around no. you. The more people you have around you, the more chances you have of somebody yeah. taking you down. The more surveillance you got to do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, like, the more weeds you got to pull, man. The more groundwork you got to keep it going. For real. Keep your crew around you small and make sure you know they're riding with you. True. Amen. Because you can have a small crew, but if they're all keeping you down, what does that do? Fair enough. Yep. That, you're not doing anything for yourself nah. any favors. 
you need to evaluate who's around. I think, again, it was a Hobson song. Not everybody was supposed to be in your life forever. True. Some people are only supposed to be there for a phase. Mm hmm. But, man. And every blessing that God gives you isn't meant to last forever. Nah, some blessings only meant to last like a week, bro. <laughs> like, honestly. Some people like to ride it out way too long. Yeah. You have to use each blessing to get to the next one. Use your blessings as building blocks to build the foundation in the, in the, in the um, system just, that you I'm want. Just using blessing for success. Each success. True. You can say you're blessed every time you get a success. Hey. Fair enough, man. So, but guys, thanks for stopping in and spending some time with us today. Hope y'all enjoyed this one. Like, comment, subscribe, blow us up. Y'all know what to do. Hit that notification bell. Give this a share because it does help the channel out. Please and thank you. Hey, we'll see y'all next one. Later.